Hello everyone, it's Mark Alpiger from ClassicArcadeGaming.com. I'm the owner of that website and a friend who is a regular poster on the site sent me the gift, to try out at least, of this incredible one-sixth replica food fight machine. I've got it hooked up via HDMI to a nice little monitor where you can uh, kind of see uh, a little more clarity on the picture and then I'm sure we can take a look at the small screen after we're done kind of checking it out on the large screen here. You can see that the artwork is really good. I'll, I'll try to cover the side of the machine later. Um, everything is just totally accurate. I used to own this full-size arcade coin-op. The reproduction is absolutely perfect. The feel of the controls playing the game, which I've already done, are perfect. But, yeah, let's get to a little gameplay. Let's, let's, let's do the cone-shaped credit buttons first, put in one credit. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. That's the play buttons. Our credit buttons are here. The right button sends you to a menu. Let's not do that. Let's put a credit in. I'll get it right. There's the credit button and then the player start buttons. We got one credit, so obviously the one player start is legitimate. Via the joystick, just like in the original, you can choose the different levels. Let's go to level five, just, just for fun. See what happens. Oh boy, I may be in trouble here. Got a little lucky there. There we go, got out of that. That wasn't too bad. Got a little ammo here. Thought I was a right angle. I'm kind of off angle to stay out of the frame, so this could be a little tough. I'm not holding the joystick straight on. Really? Okay. That was terrible. Let's try one more time. Credit? Maybe a little more success there, I don't know. There we go, I let off the button a little early to carry the banana forward to the next screen. That worked out pretty good. Held the peas until I was a little closer to the main chef there. Jim and Tam. Oh, got lucky there. Oh! Got driven into the hole there, unfortunately. Again, I'm playing off center on the screen, so I'm not going to do super well. It's much harder than you may think to deal with that. The screen to my left and then the joystick getting the direction and everything perfect is very difficult, actually. Well, I'm glad the peas dispersed there. Oh, that was close. Might get a replay, let's see. Nope. I pressed the button. Again, the button's a little small, so might not be perfect, but I think I made it to level 11. Now, I was impressed by this joystick. You can move it to the individual position of each letter. That's that's hard to design a joystick to do that, actually. So they did a hell of a job there. I think I was around level 11. I didn't do MDB, it's MDA. Uh, but in any case, again, keep in mind, I'm off center. I really need to be here, but I'm block everything. So that's the problem with that. 
Let me take the HDMI cable out and see if this screen reverts or if we have to shut it off and turn it back on. Yep, there we go. Boy, they were smart to figure that out. I'm going to zoom up a little bit on it and see if we can give you guys a little bit better of a look here. It's very, very well done. See if we can get the light reflection off of there. It is excellent. They have kind of a magnifying effect on the screen to make it appear a little bigger, but let's try a quick game. I'm going to try not to block it, but I, I make no promises. But to stay off to the side, it's really going to be a, a rough go here. We'll see. We'll start from the very beginning because it's going to suck. Being this off angle, etc. Of course, the first screen is easy. You just run so that the chefs don't pick up any food. I can barely see the chefs, so I'm really going to play like crap. At least I imagine I will watch. I say I'm going to play like crap, and then the game goes on and on and on. Sounds like an ABBA song. Whoa, that was close. Yep, here we go. I'm playing great. I can barely see what I'm doing. It's normally not really a problem if you want to play with the screen because you're going to have your face somewhat right in front of it, which I can't do because, again, obviously I'm blocking. Kind of moved up and then down to avoid any food that might have been in my way. Or any food that might have been thrown my way, should I say. That was good for me to peg that chef. That was good. I should get a replay on that. Jeez. Man, they should give me a damn replay. I know sometimes early enough in the game, maybe you can't get a replay, but yeah, doing well so far. I got two extra men, so three total. Oh, I didn't see that that chef had picked up food. I couldn't even begin to see that whole... I'm in trouble. Got lucky there. No extra men. A ways away, I think it's next extra man is like 50,000, but let's see what happens. Wow, got damn lucky there. Come on, see if we can get the friggin' 50,000. I don't, can't promise it. That was really lucky. No, I guess it's not 50,000. Maybe it's at 25 and then 100,000. I've even forgotten. Like I say, I own the game. Hadn't played in some years, though. Ah. Uh, nice, valiant effort. I won't enter those initials. I'll just put anything in. But, you can see it's a very well done game. Let me look at the both in uh, you know the uh, emulation which is is of course not that difficult to to do nowadays. Uh, emulation's been going on on the arcade front for over 25 years. There's a side of the cabinet. Look at the top with the power button and volume control. There's the back, obviously the lock's a, a little bit of a joke. There's the HDMI. I think the USB ports down there are just for hub purposes, so if you're charging it from your computer, you can still uh, plug stuff into the computer. Or maybe they're just uh, there for charging other devices. I'm not sure. I haven't bothered reading the manual. I'm one of those typical people that does not read the manual. So you can see artwork done incredibly well. The marquee is lit. And again, the side, it's perfect.
let's look at the power down sequence and, and see how things look when we power down. Okay, turned it off. Takes a minute to register. And there it goes. Well, that's Food Fight and the company that, that uh, produced it did just one hell of a job. Again, spectacular. Me personally, I think I would have gone for either one-fifth or one-quarter scale. Probably one-quarter is a bit much. Again, my information is they did one-sixth scale, but uh, I think maybe one-fifth would have, would have been a, a little bit of a sweeter spot and you could have still sat it up for display. As is, it is about the perfect height for display purposes. Maybe it's about from the extreme bottom to the very tip top, maybe, I don't know, 10 to 11 inches. So maybe that is right for, you know, just putting it on one shelf and saying, hey, I love this, or hey, I used to own this machine, which was the case for me. All right, well, that's the report on the replica, at least this one in specific, but if the company does this with each and every game, which I can't imagine they would not, they just knocked it out of the park. Very, very well done. That's it. Check out ClassicArcadeGaming.com for more arcade-specific related news and posts, and check out the game selection from this company, which more information, no doubt, will be overlaid on the video. Enjoy.